Let's see. Let's see what the administrix is about. I'm usually leery about bringing up, uh, bringing, playing as any of the characters. Which, which where? That's probably the administrix. Yeah, I'm usually pretty leery about playing as any of the uh, Toho characters, just because like I, I feel like this is a crossover. I'm not sure if I'm ready to dive into, but whatever. So a lich priestess in the rising sun awakens in a strange in strange lands once more. She is a master manipulator of the Tau in her deck. Oh, she's the one with Tau. Okay. First time you play four attacks or skills, transpose one. I don't know what transpose does, so I guess let's find out. Yeah, what happened? Did I win? Yeah, I won. Okay, so what else do we have? This does nothing besides count how many attacks you've played each turn and how many skills you've played each turn. There's that. Okay. So, you know, if we're lucky, we might be able to get a... An easy mid boss kill, and then we can roll that into a bunch of bonfires. I mean, it would require some amount of luck here. The extra max HP would be nice, but let, let's try this. Okay, hidden power, gain to affinity. I don't know what it does. Affinity, if you have more, more yin than yang. Whenever you gain yin, deal two damage to all enemies twice. If you have more yang than yin, whenever you gain yang, gain two block. Interesting. Oh, so that's probably yin and yang. Maybe. So, no, never mind. Deal six damage twice, draw two cards, gain three yin once. Deal 12 damage, gain three strength, lose three strength at the end of turn, gain one wilting, or... Gain six block, discard one card, plot. Upgrade all of your mortal cards in your hand for the rest of combat. Let's grab, what's wilting? Let's probably do immortal purity because that might feed into something. I'm probably going to die at some point. Refrail whenever you discard a card, gain two of the higher yin or yang. Draw two cards, upgrade all cards in your hand, discard your hand. Interesting. Or we could do shield. Nah, let's save her money. Okay, blue cloak. Deal three damage, draw a card, discard a card. One apply weak to all enemies. Okay. Block. Apply vulnerable. There's some interesting cards in here. I don't know if it's going to work well for me, but still. Discard two cards, gain energy next turn. Feast of Dew. Draw two cards. Whenever you play Feast of Dew three times this combat, gain four. Or transpose one. Let's transpose. Discard cards from your draw pile. Move different cards from your discard pile to the draw bottom of the draw pile. Okay. Draw a card, gain four yang. Yang. Fuels many cards. Hi, the high value between yin and yang decreases by one each turn. Interesting. I truly have no idea what any of these even do yet. Once we get further in, it will be a lot more obvious. I could grab transition for drawing one more next turn. What's the upgrade on this one? Makes it makes it free. None of these are immortal. The extra affinity would be nice, but you have to play it three times. We draw two cards, add a copy of this to your hand, exhaust. Oh. That sounds interesting. Just remove a Reich. Good face, bad face. You feel more talkative. Uh-oh. Oh no, we got best face. Well, I hope you guys like it. Alright, let's do Feast of Dew. Uh... Dirty Lipstick. Upon pickup, permanently increase the damage and block of all basic cards by two. Interesting. Z Sip of Sparks. 
Gain 7 block, gain 2 strength, lose 2 strength at the end. 14 block, heal 15, gain 2 wilting, or battleforged bonds. Gain 4 strength and 4 dexterity, lose such at the end of each turn. Reduce the cost of all cards in your hand to 0 this turn. Interesting, but expensive. Let's probably grab Sip of Sparks. And let's upgrade... Probably Feast of Dew. Because that way I can just go nuts with th this. And Man, I don't know what I'm doing. Everything is weird. Draw one, discard one. Okay, blue cloak for a bunch of damage. Hit him. Get rid of you. Mortal Purity upgrades itself. Let's just work on the Spike Slime instead. I... It's interesting picking up a new character that I've never played before. I don't... Well, I don't actually have many left to go at at least as far as, like, the immediate... The immediately, like, available ones. I guess there's a couple that have been translated from Japanese. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. Gain two duality. Whenever you play an equal, non-zero number of attacks and skills in one turn, gain temporary strength and dex next turn. Deal seven damage to all enemies. If you have any artifact, gain one more, or transpose a card. Extol Virtue is nice. We don't have a whole lot of AoEs, and that's definitely... Holds me back a little bit. Let's do Bottle Soul, Feast of Dew. I don't even know what that's... This is... We need to start yin and yanging kind of hard here. Sip of Sparks. Blue Cloak. Get rid of that. Oh, well, that's a pretty good start against this, uh, this guy for sure. Okay. So we have Hidden Power. Not really going to help me that much. Let's chalk the, uh, chalk. Chuck the weakness potion at him. Because he is, ouch. Blue cloak, lose that. We do have Feast of Dew. Oh, that's a skill. No, I don't want that. I don't want any of these things. So yeah, we should probably start picking up things with Yin and Yang for a bit. Uh, let's see. Just rewards. 10 damage to all enemies. Apply vulnerable to all enemies. Two daybreaks to your hand. Near cost ethereal attacks. They give Yang an exhaust. Or life force net. Four damage to all enemies. Four damage to a random enemy twice. Obtain one fairy in a bottle. That's stupidly good. What happens if I upgrade it? Not bad. Let's see, 7 damage. Might as well make hidden power free. We've got a lot of draw in here, so I can do some things. Uh, okay, so life force net. Yeah, it just gives me straight up a, a potion. That's redonkulous. Well, I should not have gotten rid of... I should not have gotten rid of uh, that one strike. As it turns out, it was actually kind of really helpful. Get rid of Feast of Dew. Just doesn't help yet. Let's see, is this a new magic girl? Uh, well, no, it's more like a magic bird girl at this point. Can you not hear the cacaws? They are... <laughs> they're endless. I guess I could actually just attack him. What am I doing? Okay, transport... Transpose one. Draw a card. Gain four yang. Exhaust. Deal nine damage. Every three times you play Cracking Pangu, remove all your debuffs or seal away. Let's grab Light Your Life. We gotta start yin-yanging. Uh, let's see. Well, let's smith up a thing. Light your life. Sure. Kaka. Kaka. 
Tip of Sparks. Stoll Virtue. Uh, do we block again for minimal damage? No. Let's actually drink another one of these. Girls do it better. Two damage four times. Enemy loses strength equal to two-thirds of your strength. Rounded down. That's not that helpful. Wicked pun Let's do Wicked Punishment. Alright. So, Yin. So, it really is just a value. But I can boost Yang, get Hidden Power, and Feast of Dew? Oh, no. Never mind. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing whatever. We'll just kill him with Life Force Net. Get another Fairy in a Bottle. Oh, or we didn't. Alright. Well, that's fine. Bishmon's Blessing. and playable Ethereal. Plot gain 3 Yang. Apply weak to all enemies. Put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. Add Nightfall to your hand for every attack you've played this turn. Or cast off regrets. Gain Frail. Manually discard a card. Yeah. Grab Bishamon just because? I don't know. It's, it's, just dig. Champion Belt. Cool. Okay, there's a card that switches your yin and yang around and does damage based on the difference. Cool. Okay, so my affinity is now high. I can do nothing about it. Let's discard a, a defend. But at least I can more or less just spit that forever. Okay, let's go after something slothful. I can work with that. Alright, so for starters... Pop the explosive potion. Okay, that gets me another fairy. Alright, uh, let's see. So I have... Well, I mean, I might as well do Red Cloak, see if I get anything free. The answer is no. Well, that's fine. Yeah, so far the Administrix seems like an interesting character, but compared to... Uh, was it Marissa? Not nearly as fun, at least for what I'm doing. Okay, the interruptions continue, but maybe stop. I, we'll see. Okay, let's just defend three times. These guys are going to hurt. And choose a card to discard. I guess that one. I mean, we're ending the round anyway. I feel like this character does way too much stuff. It's interesting, but I tried it. It was too much for me. That's about where I am. Uh, let's see. Anger the Mushrooms. Grab the Spreading Infection. Probably better than fighting the mushroom creature. Sparks, defend. Beast of Doom! Which doesn't do much for me. I might just try and tank this one out. I probably don't want to, but still. Let's get the one dexterity. Let's see if we can kill him. So there's spreading infection. Deal five damage. Let's lose spreading infection. Strike. Beast of Doom. And probably another strike. I just want to kill this guy if I can. Because if I can get rid of the false log of Ulan... Uh, well, let's already gain the weakness. We're already weak. Oh, no, 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 no. He hit us with languid. Oh, balls. Alright, Feast of Dew. Defend. And I guess we'll get rid of one of the slimes. Yeah, if my affinity did anything... Whenever you gain Ye and deal 10 damage to all... Oh, I see. I see how that works. Keep gaining slimes. Ugh. Okay. Gain block. Discard that. Sip of sparks. Extol virtue. And light of your life. Let's grab sip of, sip of sparks. Perfect. There's some damage. So that's where the affinity is useful for. Yeah, so we just need to get something... Uh, we just need to get something that... That gets me more yin and yang. I guess I could focus on yang. Because I currently have yang. Whenever you gain yin, deal 10 damage to all enemies twice if you have more yin, yang than yin. Oh. Wait, okay, if you have more yin than yang, whenever you gain yin, deal 10 damage to all... Okay. 
I have to look at this again. To be totally honest. Okay, let's get rid of the bomb. Let's purity some of the feasts of dew. Immortal purity also is repeatedly upgrading itself, which is kind of really amusing. Let's get rid of one of these. We'll keep doing that for the extra affinity, and I don't know. Give me extol virtue. I don't know what's going on. I I'll get used to some of these as we go go through this. Let's see. Hexed, confused, or slowed. Uh, hexed. I can live with the live with that for like two rounds, I think. Okay, light of your life gets you some yang. Okay, so currently I'm just gaining block. So I should actually figure out how to gain yin here. If I can. Well, Feast of Dew. Really doesn't help me that much. I don't know, this is... Just confusing. So yeah, there's Affinity, which seems to be working pretty well. We might as well go for the 50-50. I... I like the idea of her. I'm not... Oh. Okay. That's... That's what's going on. Tip of Sparks, Feast of Dew, another Feast of Dew. Well, going Feast of Dew is interesting. I, I, what? Ah! We just need some way of capitalizing on these Feasts of Dew better. Uh, or gaining more yin while we block or something. Some means of gaining yin or yang. Uh, let's just do the two wounds. Because she's about to book it anyway. So as long as I survive this next hit, we're okay. I, this is... An odd day. Yeah, if I could weaponize... If I could weaponize the Feast of Dew better, I'd be in a happy position. But currently, they just kind of take over my deck and nothing more. Okay, girls do it better. No, I barely have any strength to begin with. At the start of your turn, gain one duality and one affinity and draw a card. Duality. Whenever you play an equal non-zero number of attacks and skills, it's fine. You have more yin than yang. Then when you gain yin, damage all enemies twice. Okay, so... Uh, duality, affinity, and draw one additional card. Nah. Newborn divinity. Ethereal. Deal damage equal to two times the amount of yang you have more than yin. Remove all your debuffs. All of these kind of suck for what I'm doing. The duality m might be kind of handy. Yeah, enemy loses strength equal to two-thirds of your strength rounded down, which is completely meaningless because I don't have any strength gain right now. Two times the amount of yang, you have more than yin. I mean, this could be good. If I just go all Yang. And I think I'm currently at Yang. Uh, let's get Royal Goblet. Because I've got a ton of card draw to begin with anyway. Hmm. What are we looking at here? Two mid-bosses if I go up that direction. It gets kind of boring here. Okay. So if I go this way, we get, a, we get a couple of mysteries and two mid-bosses, which might not actually be wise, but I have nothing better to work on anyway. A shop would be nice. I am wealthy. You know, we, d we don't actually get that much more by going this way, so let's, let's, go, let's go over here. Because otherwise we could go this way, get a shop. That's an actually pretty early shop. Yeah, so let's go this way. Two mysteries into this, and pretty much the same setup as as previous. But an earlier shop to see if I can get more of a leg up. But yeah, gain three yang. So I, I think I'm just going to try and go all in on Yang and just find out that this is a really stupid idea. Get rid of Bishmon's Blessing. 
it with the extol virtue. Defend twice, can't get in anything from this anyway. I think I might also buy the rug, uh, so I can sell the fairies in a bottle. Sip of sparks. Strike. Red cloak. Get rid of that. Yeah, we need. We actually need more draw than I've got. Well, that's okay. So there's Feast of Dew. Light of your life. Gain some yang. Oh, whoops. I didn't actually mean to get rid of that one. Well, that's fine. So... Two times the amount of... Ying versus Yin. But we should probably defend. Because that'll do 16, but it'll do less. So let's do Immortal Purity. Discard that, because it's ethereal. I'm going to take 14 here. So I'm not going to be able to take any of these guys out. I'll just keep kind of hitting him, only take a little bit. Eh. Sip of Secrets. A newborn Divinity. And a Strike. I'm still not going to be able to kill him. Eh. Okay, Extol Virtue. Beast of Dew. Blue Cloak. Let's get rid of the other Feast of Dew. Red Cloak. Let's get rid of the Defend. Hit him. We do have Light of Life. So I want Life Force Net in favor of a Strike. And we get Immortal Purity, which is not helpful. But that's, that's okay. And why is she cawing? Because I got the Cultist Headpiece, which makes her caw. Why aren't you calling Azeroth? I ask you. Okay, deal a bit of damage. Light of your life, more Yang. Give me that Extol Virtue, or Sip of star Sparks. I don't really know which is which. I have to get used to the, uh, the exact timing on that one. Well, let's do Red Cloak, get rid of the Defend. Beast of Dew again. Doesn't actually get me any affinity, but I can Newborn Divinity him for a bunch of damage. Alright, that's a means of dealing with things. And let's get rid of the Lifeblood Potion for the Strength Potion. I should have used it. Gain three Duality. Three Duality is not bad. Daybreak and a Nightfall to your hand. If you have any Duality, draw a card. Or Nightfall. Nightfall gives you Yin. So let's go Duality. Remove all strikes, gain 5 bites, lose 30% max HP. Interesting. Sure. Probably a bad idea, but I only lose 20 HP, so... What's the worst that could happen? Alright, let's Strength up. Life Force Net, which gets me another one of these. Defend, Feast of Dew. Uh, let's see, do we bite? Do we Immortal Purity? Just do that. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the one unfortunate part is... I think my strength did have a damage up, but the healing will kind of maybe make up for it. Well, that's not going to do any damage. It's a shame it's ethereal as opposed to exhaust, because, yeah, if you don't have the setup for it, it's it's pointless. Okay, light of your life, transpose, gain one. Get rid of Bishamons for another Feast of Dew, maybe? Okay, let's get rid of the defend. Do that, gets me nothing. It's an interesting setup. I'll give it that. Sip of Sparks, Bite, Bite, and Extol Virtue. And yeah, with the Bites, we'll, we'll have some level of survivability here that we didn't originally have. Alright, let's do Red Cloak. Get rid of Bishamon's Blessing. Beast of Dew. It's gonna hit me for not enough, so let's let's just nibble him to death. 
There we go. Okay, Guayan's blessing gets me Yin. No. Okay, Regent's Edict. Deal damage whenever you play Regent's Edict three times this combat. Steal all of the enemy's strength and exhaust this card. That's kind of cool. I gotta give that a go. I don't know if it's gonna be helpful, but I gotta give it a go. Okay, right. We were gonna buy the rug. Because it pays for itself. More or less. Whenever you manually discard a card, gain two of the higher of your yin or your y and your yang. Okay, so cast off regrets is pretty good. What else do we have? Obtain, upon pickup, obtain five copies of a card in your deck. That's terrifying. Dropbox. Deal 18 damage. Upo ah. Obtain one random potion. Heal six. These are weird. Are there any cards in my deck that I'd like to go bananas for? <laughs> Cast off regrets is real good. Okay, so we get a free bite. I'm gonna grab Dropbox. It's probably not a good idea, but that's okay. Transform two random cards, get jaxed. The extra strength would be nice. Or we could get a special relic. I'm not sure. Also, thank you, Pampukin, for the two-month resub. You're at a restaurant celebrating your grandparents' 92nd birthday. Have a nice evening, everyone. <laughs> Go back to celebrating that. You can come back later. Uh, after the celebration. I don't get to celebrate much with my grandparents. Uh, do we... Yeah, let's get jaxed. I, don't... I haven't gotten jaxed in ages. Let's smith something up. Let's smith up jax? Or dropbox? Two ran it. Yeah, I got it. I gotta smith up Dropbox. If we've got Chameleon Ring, we should go bananas for this. Bite. Bite. Feast of Dew. We could do Cast Off Regrets. The frailty is scary. But that's okay. Ugh. There goes my Dropbox. I don't know why I did the second one. Well, this is gonna hurt. Alright, blue cloak, get rid of Bishamon's blessing, hidden power, defend, defend. We're not hexed yet, which is good. But still, okay, so life force net. Bite, bite, and a regent's end on that guy. Which, why don't you give me... I want Dropbox back. I wish I could actually sell potions while I'm just out and about. That'd be nice. Portal purity. Let's discard that. And then red cloak. Take no damage. We are hexed though, which does kind of suck. But that's okay, because I've got drop box. Gets me a regen potion and a strength potion, which I'm just gonna drink. Probably should have actually left them for the next round. Oh well. It's too late now. Beast of Dew. Sip of Sparks. Bitey bitey. Okay, and we are back down again. This... That part kind of sucks. But... Oh, right. Okay, Wuji, lose all Yang and Yin, gain two, one duality for each four of the... Huh. That gets me Yin. Each four of the lower of your Yin or Yang. It only works if you're... I'm just gonna skip those. They don't help. 
Yeah, that only works if you actually have been keeping them mildly even. I have not. It's Jack's up. It's Red Cloak. Let's get rid of Cast Off Regrets for now. Life Force Net. If worst comes to worst, I just go bananas with Fairy in a bottle if I have to. Okay. Bite. Extol Virtue. Hit. And we do have Bishamon's Blessing, which is unfortunately going to fade away. And thank you, Washipo, for the nine-month resub. Today is the day of resubs, it seems. I'm fine with that. Okay, so why don't we... I have to discard one of these. Kill her with Dropbox. Death Potion. Spooky. I like it, but spooky. Discard Newborn Divinity. He's gonna do no damage to me. Death Potion's neat. I have not seen that before. Okay, and I'm just gonna crawl my HP right back up. I suppose one. Draw a card. Okay, so we want... I could grab Jax. Let's grab Sip of Sparks. I like Sip of Sparks. Okay, and let's get rid of Feast of Dew so I can defend a little bit more. I don't want to take too much damage from this guy. Especially when my HP is looking so good right now. Bitey. Bitey, he is quite dead. Perfect. Essence of Steel. Get out of here, fairy in a bottle. Alright. And let's grab Immortal Grace plus one. Grab the tea set. Oh. You. Honestly... Almost all of these are not particularly exciting for me. Especially because I'd probably die. And none of these are cheap. Or good. Also, my max HP sucks. Okay, so let's let's actually switch. We want to go... We got to go bonfire. I could go after a mid-boss, but I will probably die. Okay. So we want to get rid of... Kind of nothing. Uh, let's get rid of a bite for Jax. Okay, and I could gain more block here, but I don't think that's going to help that much. Let's drink the energy potion. Let's keep let's keep this going for a bit. Bite, red cloak. Lose Bishmon's blessing. Beast of Duke, cast off regrets. The frailty kind of sucks. But I'll see what I can do. Okay, light of your life, gain some gain some yang. Let's gain gain some yang. Let's get rid of Extol Virtue for Bishamon's Blessing. Because that gets me a little bit of defense, which is good. Gets me a bunch of Yang, too. So let's use Bishamon's Blessing. Actually, we can use a lot of them. Perfect. Alright, let's lose the Defend in favor of anything else that gives me Yang here. I guess we could just go for Newborn Divinity for the sake of... Extra defense. Okay, so I want to look at duality. When you play an equal non zero number of attack and skills this turn, gain three temporary strength and dexterity next turn. I see, so I have to, I really have to balance them out. Let's do Dropbox and Immortal Purity. Discard that. Okay, so that should be fine. Thank you, Plated Armor. And that does, in fact, give me the uh, Strength Index. Perfect. Bam! Okay. Immortal Grace. 
Let's see, we could brew, but there's not much point to it. I can upgrade that. We can make that free. I don't want to upgrade those. Let's do Newborn Divinity. Three times the amount of yin you have more than yang. Seems handy. And it's these guys. I'm just going to explode the Taskmaster. Problem solved! Give me that. Fear of death. Three frail, three wilting, four artifacts. Discard your hand. Eh. Ethereal, four duality, lose strength and dexterity, or cast off regrets. All of these kind of suck for what I'm doing. I guess we'll do cast off regrets. Okay, so let's get rid of a defend for a defend. Not really that helpful. But I'll be okay. So let's get rid of a defend for a light of your life. Unfortunately, I don't have any affinity yet. And that hurt. Jack's up. That's not going to do enough. Gain duality. Do we do blue cloak? Do blue cloak. See if it... Yeah. Alright. Dropbox. Gives me duality and affinity, then double both. Unfortunately, I'm going to take damage here. Which I'm not happy about. But we'll be okay. At least for this round. Okay, we gotta do Life Force Net. Cause yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need that fairy in a bottle. Pretty bad. Lose the feast of two. Okay. Store stole virtue. Let's just bite him for a little bit more. Hanging around at seven is scary. Tiger Marble is pretty good. Duality. Pulse Death. Discard your draw pile. Put two cards of your discard pile on top of your draw pile. Gain three wilting. No. Otherwise, we could do Seal Away. Which sounds kind of interesting. Alright. Let's start with the Dex Potion. Private Reserves. He's going to kill me if I let him. Let's start with that. Okay, so we get Red Cloak. Perfect. Get rid of that. Damage to all enemies. I guess I can just straight up kill the Fungi Beast. Oh. What I should have done maybe was actually use Seal Away at the very end there. Well, it's fine. Still do three damage to me. Jack's up. Defend and bite. Heals me a bit. It's kind of okay. But discarding Bishamon from your deck procs it since it's a manual discard. Yep. No, I, sh I should have done that. I wasn't really thinking. Alright, let's do Immortal Purity. Discard Newborn Divinity. That. And we'll Then we'll do that. Okay, Hidden Power. Bite. Bite. Blue Cloak. Does a little bit more. He's gonna hurt me. Oh, we are just crawling around on the ground here. Alright, drink that. Sip of Sparks. Hit him with that. That gets me some more. We've got Constricted. We do lose Bishmon's Blessing, but not much I can do about it. Okay. Let's do the Fire Potion on him. Xeon Arts, Immortal Grace, Immortal Grace, and Life Force Net, which does get me another Fairy in a Bottle. Which I'm immediately going to discard for a Power Potion. And another Immortal Grace. Okay, and then we've got a heal. Doesn't even... Doesn't, I don't even... Wow. That is not much of a heal. Maybe I shouldn't have bothered. Alright. Constrict him. Oh. Well, that didn't help. Daybreak and a Nightfall to your hand at the start of each. Whenever you play three attacks, gain plated armor. 
go with that. Violence. Put three random attacks from your draw pile into your hand. It's pretty good. Let's... Violence. Drop box. Gets me some more. I can apply some languid to him. I can also stun him. Honestly, let's do a Feast of Dew. I was hoping I could discard things, because I, I don't want to have to use Newborn Divinity here, but I probably should. Because I have no means of discarding anything. And we'll lose Bishamon's Blessing, but... Oh, well. Okay, Jack's up. Life Force Net. I'm going to claw my way back up HP-wise. It is going to take some time. Okay, why don't we get... Get rid of one of the defends. And I want to take... Dax back. Get rid of that. Red Cloak. Get rid of that. Grab, cast off, refl uh, Whatever. The frailty kind of sucks, but this guy isn't that dangerous yet. Yeah, and I don't have a means of getting more of that. Probably should have actually done the bite first, but that's okay. Oh, right, this guy- this asshole's got the pyramids. I forgot about those pyramids. At least I've got the energy to deal with it. Okay. Jax. Bite. Pyramid. And then seal away. As long as it's the last card in your... deck to use, it's not so bad. And thank you for all of the extra... plated armor that's making life easier. So sip of sparks. Bite. Defend, light of your life. Let's transpose a defend for seal away again. That's actually kind of handy. I'm actually really liking the immortal deck. I'll have to try that at some point. Okay, so we got to do feast of feast of dew. Okay, so we want to get rid of. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Regent's Edict. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Newborn Divinity, but we're going to lose it because I have no means of discarding it here. Or using it. I'm just going to do another Feast of Dew. Isn't Feast of Dew supposed to exhaust? Oh, but not because of Bottled Soul. That's where this all comes from. Well, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So let's do Red Cloak. Lose one of the pyramids. Bite Immortal Grace. Burn a pyramid. And then do Seal Away. To upgrade whatever I can. And that really cra- Oh right, I forgot whenever you manually discard something, you gain a bunch of Yang. That's kind of handy, actually. Okay. I forgot, I can actually steal that from him. So let's get rid of a bite in favor of Regent's Edict. Because Regent's Edict effectively lets me just snag his, uh, his strength. That's kind of nice. Do Sip of Sparks. Feast of Dew. Feast of Dew. I guess we'll just burn one of the pyramids. We'll kill him eventually. This actually was one of the easier boss fights. Now that I'm like really understanding how this character is kind of supposed to work, they're not half bad. Okay, and we should absolutely go for Wife's Lightning. And whenever you gain, yeah, Faithful Flames, whenever you play three attacks, gain Thorns. That's pretty good too, but I gotta get the other one. Let's go Grab Bag. Grab Bag is too good. Nah, gotta go Runic Obelisk. And... 
Upon pickup, choose any non-boss, non-event relic to obtain. Absolutely. freaking lootly Alright. I mean, there's only one... There's only one card. That this care. Well... There's only one relic that I should ever obtain with any of my runs, pretty much. Uh, there are more, but, uh, where's Hamster Wheel? Yell at me if you see Hamster Wheel. It's time to get dumb. Otherwise, it's entirely possible it could, uh, it could just not exist. That it's not in this pool. It should be, though. Unless it's a boss relic. Oh, it is a boss relic. Okay, never mind. No hamster wheel. Well, I've got a boatload of energy without hamster wheel. What do we go with instead? I mean, it could go something straight up like mending plumage and just go crazy healing. Let's take a look at some of the more ridiculous ones. I mean, I could go with something silly like Shuriken or Kunai. They're pretty good. We could go Ice Cream. Yeah. Or actually, we could go Heavy Jacket. We gotta go Heavy Jacket. Ice Cream would be nice, Light Bulb would be nice, but Heavy Jacket makes me unstoppable. 